Hello, my name is Taylor. You are probably watching this video because your doctor ordered an imaging study. Those are fancy words for taking a look inside your body. I know it may sound scary, but it's actually pretty cool. Not everyone gets to do it. I'll walk you through everything so that you know what to expect when you arrive for your radiology appointment. Depending on what your doctor needs to see in your body, there are different types of imaging studies. This large machine is for magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI. The MRI makes a strong magnetic field around you. Invisible radio waves are directed at your body. They're used to make pictures of things like your organs, muscles, and joints. You don't feel the magnetic field or radio waves, and there are no moving parts around you. All you have to do is hold very still. It's totally painless. For some appointments, you have to be ready before you come in. When your parents make an appointment, the clinic staff will let you know how to prepare. Most of the time, it involves not eating for a couple hours before your appointment. This ensures that the doctors get to see everything they need to see as clearly as possible. When you arrive at the front desk, a staff member will check you in and hand you a questionnaire to fill out. They will direct you to the waiting area so you can relax and complete the questionnaire. The questionnaire asks you all about these things. When it's your turn, a technologist will bring you back for your MRI study. The technologist is the person that operates the MRI machine. They'll explain the process and show you where you can change into a gown. When you put on the gown, it is important that you remove all the clothing and jewelry except your underwear. Anything metal on your body will interfere with the magnet and its ability to make the best images. There are lockers where you can store your stuff. When you enter the room, you will see the MRI machine. It looks like a long, narrow tube that has both ends open. The technologist will help you lie down on the table that slides into the opening of the tube. Once you're positioned on the table, you'll be covered with a sheet so you stay warm and comfortable. If you're getting a scan of your head, you may use a special cradle that helps hold your head still to get a better image. Then, the technologist will slowly slide your body into the scanner and leave the room. If you have a fear of enclosed spaces or claustrophobia, you may be given medicine to help you feel less anxious. It's okay if you're nervous. If needed, one of your parents can stay in the room with you. Most people get through the exam without difficulty. In some cases, a special material called gadolinium may be given to you like medicine. It's called a contrast material and it helps to enhance the pictures captured, kind of like a highlighter. When a contrast material is injected, it may feel a little cold going in. You might also get a funny taste in your mouth. If your doctor wants to see pictures of your intestines, you may have to drink something before your MRI. Your technologist will watch you from another room right next door. They can see you through a glass window and there's also a camera inside the MRI machine. There is a two-way microphone in the machine, so you can talk with your technologist if you need to. They'll check in with you throughout the study to make sure you are feeling good about everything. You will also be given an alarm button to press if you have any discomfort, and it will stop immediately. There is a fan for you in the machine if you need it. MRI scans can last anywhere from 15 minutes to over an hour, depending on the types of pictures your doctor needs to see. You can ask your tech beforehand how long your scan might take. During the MRI scan, the magnet makes repetitive tapping, thumping, and other funny noises. These sounds can become loud. It's all part of the process. Although the machine can make unpleasant sounds, it will never touch you. Earplugs or headphones with your favorite music may be provided to help block the noise. For most MRIs, it is important that you stay completely still or else they may have to start the exam from the beginning. You might also be asked to hold your breath for up to 30 seconds, depending on what images are needed. If your doctor orders a special type of MRI called a functional MRI, the technologist may ask you to do some simple movements or tasks, such as repeat a word over and over again or tap your fingers. This helps pinpoint the areas of your brain that control these movements. When your scan is finished, the technologist will come back in the room and walk you out. If you are not given any medicine to make you relax, you may resume to your usual activities immediately after the scan. 
However, if you were given a special medication to help you relax, you may be asked to stay a little while longer to make sure you feel 100% before you go home. And that's it. The doctor will be sent the results of your MRI and your job here is done. Thanks for watching.